There's no arguing it. Towson University's debate team wins, claiming an historic win. They are the first all-black women's team to win the Cross-Examination Debate Association's national championship. This morning, we have two of the team members here. We have Amina Ruffin and Corey Johnson both here to talk about the, the major victory. Ladies, way to go. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've, Thank you so you've made Thank so, you so many people proud in this area. Now we want to pick your brain a little bit as we admire your huge trophy, yeah. by the way. That's ridiculous. Yeah. But I'm going to ask you first. We'll start with you, Amina. What was the topic, first of all? Um, the topic was restricting presidential war powers authority. They say the niggas always already queer. That's exactly the point. It means that the impact is not, that the, that is an impact turn uh, to the affirmative, that, that it is a case turn to the affirmative because if we, uh, we are saying that queer bodies are not able to survive, then it necessarily means that the body uh, of the nigga is not able to survive. Um, we got the topic in about July, um, and we started doing our research then. Now, when the nigga uh, sees these pains and suffering that he can only uh, envision himself, that he uh, does not see another nigga that he uh, can feel sympathy for or embrace, but rather uh, that, uh, that that otherness gets obliterated. And we've been supplementing our research throughout the season. Uh, man, it's overgenic object, disfigured, lynch, and trauma. Enough. The inside the trauma representation is back gentle to the black child, devouring and identifying with the stories and images the white culture brought up uh, to, 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 to think and act subjectively like a white man, the black man. Uh, so where do you go from there? You know, when you start preparing for a national competition, once you know the topic, what's next? Well, you do a lot of research. Uh, says that the, the, the way that the status quo works is through uh, whiteness, allowing, uh, forcing other bodies to tell uh, narrations of whiteness and uh, the violence that whiteness does. We uh, say that that is the link that we will go for. In order to prepare for it, because there are several different tournaments, mm -hmm. and so being able to transition through each tournament, yeah. capture and separate from exposure to cultural representation of the white world, the cultural, uh, the white world is to the child eye zone, and uh, able to respond to opponents' arguments on sexual trauma as a way of grounding its racist cultural fantasy, the cultural traffic and images of the black uh, man's homogenic objects. So just a lot of preparation. Disfigured lynch and trauma enough. The inside the trauma representation is back gentle to the black child, devouring and identifying with the stories and images of the white culture. Reading of articles and books. And they only uh, recreate what it means to be an authentic nigga because we uh, we are not allowed to read uh, we are not allowed to read certain things or speak in a certain way because we uh, are seen as not as not truly speaking uh, truly speaking to niggas but it is a question uh, of who even wrote uh, of who even wrote this shit all that good stuff was there anything that threw you off during the competition you know something that someone else said another team that made you go isn't it crazy that two days ago I almost went to jail and I'm here right now <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, the argument that we hit in the final round was a pretty difficult argument. Some say the black is the berry, the sweet is the juice. I say the dark is the flesh and the deeper the roots. I give a holler for my sister's own welfare. It's two black kids and don't nobody else cares. Um, we've been we've been debating against this argument all year. And uh, I know they like to beat you down a lot when you come around the block, brothers clown a lot. But please don't cry, dry your eyes, never let up. Forgive, but don't forget, girl, to keep your head up. And kind of test out different strategies against it. Uh, who encounters himself as a phobo, uh, phobic object within the white culture encounters the dereliction of his own uh, self-representation through that culture. Dereliction is one. Uh, Our final round uh, strategy proved to be pretty successful. Um, now because whiteness is able to continually uh, operationalize, we are able to be known, uh, unknown in this space, known uh, as the damaged little black girl. Um, but yeah, it was a very unique argument um, from the University of Oklahoma. Niggas are always in opposition to governments. War power should not be used against niggas. At what point did you think we got this? Before death is eternity, after death is eternity, there's, there's no, no death, death there's only eternity. eternity. And I be riding the wings of eternity like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She clack, clack. But see, my time doesn't, see, my flight doesn't go undisturbed because time makes dreams deferred. And all my time is turning my days to daymares, living my nightmares, turning my past. She clack, clack. The oh. nigga got time beating my ass. And y'all, I be having dreams of chocolate covered watermelons, fried with filled chicken like pinatas, with little picking these signs and daughters standing up in them with big sticks of aluminum foil, hitting them trying to catch the pieces of all the fried chicken wings. And as your mom and Uncle Ben are standing in the corners of the room with the rifles pointing the heads of the children. Don't shoot the children, I shot. Don't shoot the children. But they say it's too late. 2014 Cena National Champions on a 7 4 decision is the negative from. <laughs> 